In this video, I will teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using the Flip Fluids add-on. If you only have the default Manta Flow physics, you can also follow along, but it's not going to look as great as it uh, does here. As always, it will be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing S to scale, and this will be the border of the simulation, and then press S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. And then next, we're going to go into the physics settings. And if you have the flip fluids add on, enable it. And then let's uh, set this type to domain. And then let's save the project. So uh, give it a name. And you can save it wherever you want on the computer. And then next, we need to create an inflow object. So press Shift A. And I'm just going to add a cube. And then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then S, then X to scale it on the X axis. And then we can grab it on the Z axis. So G, then set to grab it on the Z axis. And then numpad 7 for top view. And then G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. Okay, and the inflow object will be where the water comes from. So uh, let's go into the uh, flip fluid settings and set the type of this object to uh, inflow so that water flows in. And then let's set the number of substeps to 3 to increase the quality of the simulation. And then let's set the inflow velocity to minus 3 so that the uh, water flows down with uh, a certain amount of speed, which is 3 meters per second. Okay. And then next, we're going to uh, try to do a uh, test pick. So let's set the resolution to 150. And then we can do a test bake. I sped up this part, and after a few minutes, you will have a test simulation. As you can see, when we move it on the timeline, we have the water inflow. Okay, so let's go back to the first frame. And I'm going to edit the inflow object slightly, so you can select the inflow object, and then press tab for edit mode, and go to face select, you can also press 3 to uh, go to face selection, and then press G, and then Y to grab it on the Y axis, and then press G, then set to grab this face on the Z axis. And then press tab to go back to object mode, and then we're going to add an obstacle, so press shift A and add a cube, and press number 7 for a top view. And then press G, and then Y, to grab it on the Y axis. And then let's go to the side. So number 3 for side view, and then G to grab. So set it around here. And then next, we can add a uh, cylinder as well. So uh, let's save before we continue. And then press Shift A and add a uh, cylinder and then press S then set to scale it on the uh, z-axis so let's make it as tall as the uh, domain and then press tab for edit mode and we're going to uh, add some increase to each of the ends so that we can add some smoothness to the cylinder so press N and set the increase value to 1. And then next, let's enable Auto Smooth so that we can add the uh, smooth shader to the cylinder without messing up the object. And then we can go to Object and add Smooth Shading. 
as you can see it looks great and we can also add a uh, subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons and make it even smoother okay and then we're going to press number seven and then press uh, g to grab and shift d to duplicate and i'm going to add two cylinders to the scene you can obviously add as many as you want to and then next i'm going to press shift a and add a cube this is going to be a uh, ramp for the water so press g and set to grab it on the z-axis and then uh, select this uh, edge and then press g then set to grab it on the z-axis and then let's select this edge as well and uh, make it less steep okay and then we can go back to object mode by pressing tab and then press g and then y to grab it on the y-axis and then press s then x to uh, scale it on the x-axis and then i'm going to uh, scale it slightly on the x-axis from the top view so s then x again and then we can scale one more time so press uh, Control shift s and uh, create a uh, new save and then uh, next we're going to uh, set the uh, flip fluid type to uh, obstacle for uh, each of these uh, objects so let's do the same for this cylinder as well as this one and set this one to obstacle as well and then next we can edit the scale of the domain slightly so i press 3 for a face selection and i press g then y to grab it on the y-axis and then we can reset the uh, bake and let's set the end frame to uh, 600 for example you can make it shorter if you want the bake to be shorter as well and then i'm going to set the resolution this time to 300 and a high resolution will of course make the quality of the simulation higher and uh, then we can bake one more time i'm editing out the bake and i'm pausing at around 34 percent to uh, see what it looks like so that we can add the materials so uh, let's go to uh, this frame for example and as you can see the uh, simulation looks fine and then i'm going to save one more time before we start adding the materials and the lighting like this and then let's uh, select the uh, light and then let's set it to the uh, sun type and set the strength to 3 and then you can press R twice to rotate freely and then next we can add a background image as well which you can find for free at HDRI even so let's uh, find a background image I'm just going to search storm and select this one and then we can download the 8K version and then go back to Blender while it's downloading. Okay, so uh, let's add a material to the water as well. So we can use the glass material, set the roughness to zero and the IOR to uh, 1.3333, which is the water IOR. And then I'm going to use the Cycles Render Engine and the GPU as the device. We can also increase the number of samples to increase the quality of the render and uh, let's add the noising as well to remove noise if you have a gpu you can also set the tile size to 512 if you only have a cpu you can just leave it at 64 and then next we can add a floor to the scene so uh, press shift a and add a plane and then press g then set to grab it on the z-axis and then press S to uh, scale. Okay. 
OK. And then we can add the uh, background image because the download has finished. So we'll open and then go to the downloads and find the background image. And the uh, background image will make the water look a, a lot more realistic because of the huge variation in uh, colors. So uh, let's save one more time. And then we can add a material for the floor as well. So I'm going to give it a slightly glossy material with a darker color. And then you can edit the roughness as you wish. You can also use a diffuse material, which usually gives you less noise than a glossy material would. Okay, and then next we're going to add some materials for the uh, different obstacle objects. So let's start off with the cube. Set it to emission. And then make it blue. Then let's increase the strength so we get a uh, bit more interesting result. And then we can uh, just add a uh, simple glossy shader for the cylinders. So something like this. You can of course play around with the colors and materials as you wish. Then I'll add the same material to the second cylinder. And I experimented with the uh, colors for the ramp and the uh, different types of uh, shaders. So I we'll just play around and see whether we want a uh, glossy material or an emission material. Okay, so we'll leave with uh, this color for now. And then next we can switch back to solid view and then save. Click on the plus sign and then save. And uh, let's set up the uh, camera as well. So press Control Alt Numpad Zero to move the camera to the current view. And then we can increase the end value so that the range of the camera increases. Now let's uh, lock the camera to view. So we can set it up around here. Now, before we get into the uh, rendering and output settings, I'm just going to uh, make some final adjustments to the uh, colors and the materials. So I'll speed up this part. And uh, I recommend trying to experiment with the uh, different colors and uh, different color combinations and uh, see what you like the most. Okay, so something like this should be fine. And then next, I'm going to save one more time. Let's go back to solid view. And then we can go into the output settings. I'll set the resolution to 200%, which is 4K. And uh, then we can uh, create a new folder for the rendered images. Just going to give the folder a name. And then you select the folder and give the animation output a name. And because I want to do a final bake before I start rendering the simulation, I'm going to scale up the inflow object and the domain. And I press S then X to scale them on the X axis. And as you can see, I scaled up the ramp on the x-axis as well. Okay, and then we can select the domain. And I'm going to save one more time, then reset. And then I'll increase the resolution. I recommend setting it to around 350, because 500 is a bit too much for most computers. And as you can see in the display settings, the uh, final resolution will be the same for the uh, viewport as well. And 
then make sure to set the frame rate to 30 fps which i think looks better and then we can do the final bake and after many many hours of baking we have this result i actually had to bump down the resolution to 400 because 500 took too much time so uh, this is what it looks like with a resolution of uh, 400 and then we need to move the floor closer to the uh, water so uh, press G then set to uh, grab the plane on the set axis like this now before we do the final simulation render we can do a test render with just one image so that you can get an idea of how long it takes to render each image so uh, let's uh, switch to solid view and go to render and then render image because the render took a few minutes i had to speed up the recording and uh, before we do the uh, final render you can do uh, all of the uh, small adjustments that you want to do to the scene i'm also going to make some slight changes to the uh, colors so uh, just play around with the colors and materials and then finally we're going to render the uh, animation so uh, let's go back to solid view and then go to render and then render animation and that's it for this tutorial make sure to subscribe if you want more and uh, thanks for watching